What up, YouTube? I'm back at it again. And today I wanted us to take a crack at the general signs section of the ASVAB. I did one of these a while back and today I wanted to take a second crack at it. I, and uh, today we, it looks like we're going to be doing 25 questions in, in about 11 minutes. So without much ado, let's jump right into it. Alrighty. So number one, it says Edmund Haley studied comets, meteors, planets, and stars. He was an, oh, he was a slash and biologist, astronomer, meteorologist. I can't even pronounce that last word. Uh, but I would say that he was an astronomer. Number two says that blank cell in the blood, uh, in the blood are responsible for carrying antibodies that fight off infections. Um, it looks like this would be the white blood cells, at least from what I recall. The vector quantity that measures how fast an object moves and the direction in which it moves is, this is velocity. I recall this very vividly from uh, physics class. Um, and then blanks are biomes characterized by lots of rainfall and high temperature. <clears throat> Well, we know the desert doesn't have lots of rainfall, so it can't be that one. Um, I would say that this tropical rainforest, because it's always raining in the rainforest. It has rain in it, right? Um, number five says, okay, igneous rocks are formed from the cooling of molten material. Blank is an example of an... Those rocks. Okay, so let me see. Shale, marble, coal. Let me see. Okay. Not even sure if it's coal is a rock, but I think this would be pumice. And then number six says the green coloring that allows plants to produce food through photosynthesis is known as blank. From what I recall from biology class, and I had a really good biology class, it was chlorophyll. Number seven, on a Celsius scale, the boiling point um, is blank. The boiling point, again, I would say is 100 Celsius. The boiling point, yeah, on a Celsius scale is 100 degrees, which I always thought was very, very convenient. And then the, the I guess the freezing point is also zero. It would be zero. Number eight says Newton's law of blank states that the force needed to accelerate an object is directly proportional to the mass of the object. Gravity, relativity, relativity is not even one of Newton's laws, but anyways, entropy um, and inertia. The law states that the force needed to accelerate an um, object is directly proportional. This would be inertia. <clears throat> I know Newton is probably not known well, not well known for uh, his law of inertia. He's probably most well known for gravity, but that one is inertia. Number nine, the planet that is fourth nearest to the sun is Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter. I'd say Mars for this one. Number ten, the blank is the part in the Earth where all life exists: crust, atmosphere, biosphere, biome. I'd say the biosphere, the bio, it has bio in it and it has sphere, so it has to be one of the, um, an example of a marsupial is, oh, every time I think of marsupials, I think of kangaroos, so I'll go with kangaroos for this one. Dogs and lions ha both have strong canine teeth for eating meat. This meat-eating animal group is most commonly known as herbivores. Herbivores are uh, solely plant-eating um, creatures or animals. Carnivores are meat-eating ones. Omnivores, that, omnivores are both eating. Um, so, 13, I'd say a blank is a DNA unit that contains the code for a particular characteristic. Uh, I'd say the gene. Number 14, digestion is the process of breaking down food that enters the body. It starts in the blank. 
I'd say digestion. Yeah, I mean, mostly when we think about digestion, we think about the small intestines and the big intest, the large intestines. But if we really think about it, digestion really begins in the mouth. You know, from chewing and all the saliva. You know, like engulfing the food. So I'd say the mouth. The system of organs responsible for controlling all functions of the body is the blank central system, the endocrine system, the lymphatic system, the nervous system. I'd say the nervous system. 16. Bread, rice, pasta, and potatoes <clears throat> are examples of food foods rich in blank. They are main sources of energy for the body. I'd say carbohydrates. 17, the subatomic particle that is found in orbits around the nucleus and carries a negative charge is called an electron. I mean, if you're an electrical engineer, you've done enough of this. <laughs> They've literally drilled it into you. So, yes, it's an electron. They carry the charge and blank and blah, blah, blah. All right, so 18 says uh, blank is known as the ability to do work. Energy is known as the ability to do work. This is also drilled into us freshman year of college. A strip of land one kilometer long is equal to a thousand meters. It says kilo, so kilo is a thousand. Um, Twenty. When the moon moves into the Earth's shadow, a blank occurs. So the moon moves into the Earth's shadow. So th It'll be covered by the shadow, right? It'll be covered. So it'll be the moon that's really going to be eclipsed. So I'd say it'll be a lunar eclipse. The thinnest and the uppermost layer of the earth is known as the crust. In this food chain, plankton, shrimp, salmon, seagull, falcon, the role of the plankton is blank. Producer, primary consumer, secondary consumer, decomposer. Um, I'd say producer. Again, this plankton, uh, this goes way back to biology class. <clears throat> Power is defined as the rate of work done. It is measured in, whenever I think of power, I think of the, the light, my light bulb. It has 60 watts, 120 watts, 100 watts, blah, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I'd say watts will be... Uh, the units or measured it um, measured in watts. Okay, the simplest form of a substance is known as so a substance. Okay, so molecule molecules are typically not the simplest form. They're combinations of two or more elements. So that's not it. Cell. It would be cell if we were talking about the simplest form of life. But this is a substance, so it's not life. Mixture is also not it because mixtures may be like water and sodium or whatever. So mixture can't be it. So I'd say element would be 24. 25 acids, acids have a pH level below 7. The taste of acids uh, is, or the taste of acids is, I'd say sour. So it looks like, it looks like there's only 25 questions on here. So... Um, we'll grade ourselves, see how we did, and, um, that'll be it for this one. So let's check and see how we did. Alrighty, so, on the general science section, number one, number one, we got a B, the answer is B. Number two, we got a D, that, that's correct. Number three, we got a B, that's correct. Number four, we got a B, that's correct as well. If you see here. Uh, number five, let's go up here. Uh, number five, we got an A, that's A. Number six, we got a D, is a D. Number seven, we got a B, they got a B as well. Number eight, we got a D, uh, they got an a, a D as well. Number nine, we got a C, they got a C. Number 10, we got a C, they got a C as well. Number 11, we got a B, they got a B. 12, we got a B, they got a B. 13, we got an A, they got an A as well. 14, we got an A, they got an A. 15, we got a D, they got a D. 16, we got an A, they got an A. 
17. We got a C. They got a C. 18. We got a C as well. They got a C. And uh, 19. We got a B. They got a B. 20. We got a D. They got a D. 21. We got an A. They got an A. 22. We had an A. They had an A as well. 23. We had a C. They had a C. 24. We had a D. They had a D. 25. We had a C. They had a C. So it looks like we got all this ones. We got all these ones correct. So if you enjoy this content and uh, you want to see more of these, do make sure to love, subscribe, and share. And I'm going to be making more of these. Be on the lookout. And um, if you're studying for the ASVAB uh, exam, I do want to wish you all the best, all the best of luck. And um, good luck. <laughs> be on the lookout and study. Ste try to have fun studying, right? Don't make this as tedious as, um, I mean, just try to make it fun. And um, good luck again. See ya.